Hello, Merv Darty, Superintendent of Schools for Chesterfield County. Thanks for joining us again for an opportunity to speak to a board member, Debbie Bailey, from the Dale District, opportunity to hear her thoughts of this coming school year, as we are excited to have your children come back face-to-face, -face, or if you choose to go to the Virtual Academy. Thanks for joining us, Debbie. Thank you for having me. So let's talk about this coming school year. What opportunities do you see for students as we come back into a post-normal uh, environment? Right, um, post-COVID, the, the opportunities are to just get back to a sense of normalcy. And I, I hope that students come back with a new appreciation of being in a classroom and face-to-face -face where maybe they, in the past, grumbled about having to get up and go to school. Now they're going to be like, yes, I get to actually go to school and, and develop and keep and hang on to that appreciation and that uh, feeling grateful the fact that we are able to go back face to face. And for those families that choose to remain virtual, I'm, I feel very fortunate that our county has given them a choice and our virtual academy is going to be an amazing opportunity for those students as well to continue. Some children probably really enjoyed learning virtually and it was a right fit for mm -hmm. them. Um, and for those that it's not, we're offering the opportunity to come back face to face. I'm glad you mentioned the virtual academy. So parents, if you decide that uh, the virtual academy is the right fit for your child this coming school year, knowing that any time you decide that it's time for them to go back into the school, they have the opportunity to transfer back into their assigned school because we will have the seats available for them uh, as we count them for the ADM uh, uh, attendance roles. But uh, we were trying to make it very easy for you to move back into the school to that face-to-face -face learning. What about parents? How do you think it's uh, with parents, the opportunities that they have? Well, I'm sure there's a lot of working moms that are going to be thrilled that they're not going to be making peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and teaching math as well as doing their job all day. Um, remotely from home so I think that they're going to feel like it's a breath of fresh air and again their children being able to socialize and and return to school with their friends and the activities that you know you all hope that your children uh, have a wonderful um, experience in their school day and it's it had to been extremely difficult for working moms um, and families so I'm sure they're looking forward to a little bit of normalcy as well. Absolutely and the opportunity parents remember to get involved in the school, uh, PTA, PTOs, uh, volunteering in the school. It's going to be easy for you to volunteer. You go in and make sure you sign out the form that's online at the school. Uh, fill out the form and uh, we're excited to have you as volunteers again back into the school. The, um, as a representative of the Dale District, uh, there's a lot of good things going on in Dale. Uh, you want to share a couple of them? Well, the Dale District is very excited that we have gotten rid of the 22 trailers at Falling Creek Middle School and we've gotten a mega trailer there which is basically like a temporary building. So it has its own restrooms, its own cafeteria and the kids can move within a climate controlled environment instead of going in and out of the weather into individual trailers. So I'm excited that those individual trailers are gone and hopeful that in the very near future we're going to have a total Falling Creek Middle School rebuild so that the students in that community are going to be able to experience a brand new school that will house them all under one roof. And that rebuild will occur on site. It will occur on site there as well house the students on site but also do a rebuild on site there. So that's an exciting time and that's uh, just a great partnership we have with the Board of Supervisors that we're working hard to make sure that we meet the needs of a not only a strong academic opportunity but uh, great learning environments as well. Mm -hmm. uh, let's talk about uh, some exciting things we're doing with uh, student books and uh, yeah. the FACE. There are two amazing uh, a teacher and a librarian, a librarian from Meadowbrook High School and teacher from Falling Creek Middle School that um, during the pandemic saw a need and they stepped up and they delivered books to communities out of the back of their station wagon. And again, through amazing partnership with the Board of Supervisors, um, we were able to get them a van for a bookmobile. And if you haven't seen the bookmobile, it's awesome. It's completely wrapped. It's really cool looking. And they've been delivering books all summer into communities and they're going to continue that initiative throughout the school year. Books for free to students and to help with our reading initiative and getting books in every children's, all the children's hands and in every home to continue our initiative mm -hmm. to improve reading. Right, and uh, just the uh, great opportunity working through the uh, Churchfield Education Foundation, we were able to get funding to get the brand, vans ready to go out. 
to prepare them uh, to be used in neighborhoods and in back to school functions. Also with the face fan as well that we're excited with the family engagement opportunities that the schools can use to make sure we go out to the communities, uh, complexes, apartment complexes, just to help uh, get information, get uh, books out to students, get learning materials out to our community. Mm -hmm. And so we're really, really excited about that. Um, Debbie, uh, how do you think the teachers uh, are going to benefit this year from the school year? Well, I can't speak for them all, but as someone who taught for 34 years, a virtual learning environment would have sucked the life right out of me because I know that I enjoyed the connection the, uh, with my students that a face-to-face -face environment provides that would have been very difficult in a, a virtual world. Our teachers did an amazing job establishing relationships even during virtual education, but I'm sure they are really looking forward to getting back in the room and being able to connect with their kids and just get the energy that a classroom full of students gives you. And so I know that they're excited about going back to a normal classroom environment as well. Right. It's always good when we visit schools together to go out and see the students interacting with the mm -hmm. teachers and the great lessons that are occurring and the activities that are going on in school. So now let's take us out of the Dale and go to the whole school district here. And so what excites you about what the things are going to occur? What is uh, the changes that are happening into the school system this year? Uh, Friday night football. <laughs> you, uh, you know, homecoming dances, just normalcy, just going back to the excitement and all the activities that our students really have missed out on for a year and a half. It's heartbreaking to think about all of the things that they have not been able to enjoy. Um, as a student myself in Chesterfield County, I can honestly say it probably wasn't the, you know, textbook learning in the classroom that made me excited about school. It was running through the halls, it was the cheerleading practices, it was the games, it was the social events, and we're going to be able to get all of those things back this year that our students have really missed out on. And so I think that's going to just re-energize our entire 63,000 student population. Uh, that's a great point. When you think about how important education is, the socialization, the act, being involved in activities. I mean, yes. not everyone's coming to school because they love math or they <laughs> love English or they love a language. I didn't. <laughs> but uh, the opportunity is that they are coming to school because something excites them yep. about the learning environment. And sometimes it's I'm in the chess club, I'm in the band, yes. I'm in show choir, I'm playing sports. Show choir. And oh. the things that just people get excited about. And I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing the halftime performances, the courses and bands, the jazz bands, the show choir performances uh, that we missed. And uh, we're, I know that they're excited about that. I know the performing arts teachers and directors are excited about that as well. I know the coaches are mm -hmm. as we start very soon with practices yeah. for this coming fall. Um, Debbie, is there anything you'd like to share as we close here with the students or the parents uh, for this coming school year? Just embrace it, enjoy it. Uh, you know, appreciate the fact that we're there. Um, still practice good social distancing when it's uh, when you're able to. P wash your hands. Stay home when you're sick. Um, and and let's keep mm -hmm. our doors open and everybody healthy and have a wonderful school year. You're absolutely correct, and we will be making sure that we do our part to keep schools safe and healthy. Uh, we believe it's going to be a very challenging year. It's going to be a very exciting year, and I think it's going to be a very rewarding year as we invite back 63,000 students and 10,000 employees, everybody for basically introducing them to the first day of school again. So thank you for joining us. Deb, thanks for being here. Uh, we look forward to seeing you on August 23rd. Uh, thank you for joining us. Take care. Talk to you soon.